Let's talk food. There's a lot of it. From all these cool places, some of it tastes better than others, but what does that say about the HP? HP stands for health points and sometimes hit points. We're talking food though, so we're not really concerned with anyone getting hit. This is your health bar in a video game, and for this video, we'll say for you as well. Each time you do something that damages you, like stubbing your toe, it goes down. To get it back up, your body has these cool things called cells. To get that stuff working, you need to gobble up the right stuff. And honestly, it's really sad that everyone loves to speak with no backed evidence on what's actually healthy. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. Generally, green stuff like spinach and salads are good for you because they act as sort of a shield. They lower the risk of heart problems and bone loss, but I wouldn't say they're really HP boosters. If you only eat salad, you'll likely die of starvation. So along with your shield potion, you're gonna need some real armor. Some chicky baby. No, not that kind of chicken. This one. Grilled chicken, which unlike steak, is pretty lean and like steak, is high in protein, making it a massive HP booster, as it gives you energy and makes you feel good in day-to-day -day life. Veggies are similar to greens in that they have a lot of cool stuff that helps you, but again, if you only eat veggies, you're probably gonna quickly perish. Basically, just think of it this way. Meat and greens are generally the dual booster of HP. Now, since most people don't eat that and actually eat the wrong things, let's talk about what some popular dishes might do to your HP. Let's say a good daily healthy HP is 90, and if you're throwing up everywhere or you're just violently sick, that's a 10. We'll start with the certified American classics like pizza and burgers. If you're the average person, it won't be too bad, but it won't be too good either. Pizza, for example, has a lot of calories and salt, which aren't ideal for your arteries and make it the perfect food for binge eating. If you're a lactose intolerant specimen, your HP, much like your hopes and dreams of one day becoming a pizza man, will fall close to zero, as one gram of cheese is enough to cause a catastrophe. Overall, let's say pizza takes away about 20 HP for the day and 35 over your life if eaten frequently. Burgers aren't too bad because you can make them yourself, and while you could say the same thing about pizza, it's way more straightforward to make burgers at home. The main concerns here are the high fat in the meat and the sauce, as well as the buns being high in carbs, because let's face it, you're probably going to eat more than one. Given all that, I'd say normal, greasy burgers take away about 15 to 20 HP for the day and 40 over the course of your life. If you sub the meat for something less fatty, use healthier bread and low-fat mayo, those numbers can easily be halved. Pasta is pretty popular these days, but there's more types of it than there are people in Italy, so let's just stick with spaghetti and tomato sauce. The pasta itself offers zero nutrition, making it just empty carbs which can increase the risk of diabetes if eaten excessively. The tomato sauce isn't too bad, again, if you make it yourself. The only issues would be the possible high amount of sugar and salt. That said, you could just not add a lot of those things and cut the risk in half. Cheese is optional, but not really, so I'll say that it has a lot of salt and saturated fat. Combine all three of these components, and the result is a minus 15 HP per day, and minus 30 HP if eaten too often. Most other pastas usually have some cheese or sauce, which also tends to have high fat and salt, so the HP takeaway is more or less the same. However, if you dare to eat the carbonara from Cheesecake Factory, no amount of chicken and veggies can save you. Like and subscribe. See ya.